about what benefits does DevOps have in business, right? So these are the different kinds of benefits that businesses can get from DevOps. The first one is faster time to market. The second one is increased collaboration, improved agility, increased reliability, and greater, greater scalability. Basically, this means that when your startup is growing, when your app startup is growing and you want to scale faster, you want to increase the collaboration between the development teams and the operation teams. In these cases, you need to hire a DevOps engineer who will manage all of these things. Now, generally for smaller startups, the DevOps work is managed by the developer himself, right? And some part of that work is managed by the operations team. But DevOps is the guy who bridges the gap in between those two. Then we'll talk about what are the different cycles or the phases of DevOps life cycle. So these are the different phases of DevOps life cycle. First, we need to plan whatever requirements uh, are there. Then we need to develop. Uh, we just need to write a small script for that, right? Uh, the automation script. Then we have to build it. Then we have to test it. And then we have to release the code to the production environment. And then we need to use different kinds of monitoring tools to really try to understand uh, uh, what's going on with the software. Uh, is it working well? Are people reporting different kinds of bugs in the software? And the next thing we need to do is optimize it, continuously improve and evolve the software system. Now, these are the best programming uh, scripting languages for DevOps engineers, right? These are the different scripting languages. The most used one is bash then we have sql and go right now terraform is basically infrastructure as a code uh, company so terraform is what we use for the infrastructure part of that uh, and that's the most used software then we have these all these scripting languages now many people uh, need to understand what do we mean by configuration management in devops right and it's basically managing the configuration of all the software systems and the infrastructure now what do we mean by configuration configuration basically means the properties of the system uh, all the dependencies of the system all the properties of the system the operating system that we use what kind of ram do we have what kind of processor do we use all of that stuff is in the configuration management right and we have different kinds of tools for the configuration management also of the few examples are puppet chef salt stack etc now these are different the trending devops tools we have docker we have kubernetes we have jenkins terraform gitlab all of this docker is basically used for creating deploying and running containers which provides a way to package and isolate the applications right and then we have kubernetes for automating the deployment right we have jenkins to automate all the software deployment testing and uh, everything so the next one is terraform which basically helps in managing and provisioning infrastructure as a code and gitlab is what we know uh, allows all the source code management now how would you strategize successful Dev devops implementation this is something we need to understand right because we need to understand what does success mean when it comes to devops implementation so we need to make sure that we are able to uh, define all the objectives of the business and implement a system for continuous integration and continuous deployment exactly according to the requirements, automate all the manual tasks so that just improves the efficiency of the company uh, or the entire software agency. And then we need to monitor and measure every single thing that matters to the customer and to us as the company and then use what we learn from those measurements to improve and keep on continuously improving everything. So that is what we need to understand for a successful DevOps implementation.